Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're just clicking on one of my videos for the first time. My name is Amy, and here on my channel, I mostly talk about beauty and skincare related content, but on Mondays, I've started sharing a little bit about my keto journey. And I will link a couple of videos that you may find of interest down below that, sh um, that detail my journey and kind of how it started. But I'm here today to talk to you about one of the big problems that I have had on keto, and that is dry mouth. Despite however much water I would drink, I was always still so thirsty and my mouth was so, so dry. Um, and so I had a really hard time figuring out things that I could do to help that. So um, I'm going to share with you four uh, four tips and strategies or whatever for you that um, if you have the same problem that I did The first thing that I always make sure that I have in my purse so that when I'm at school or out and about and on the go is Some sugar-free gum. I have found that gum Helps to just get the saliva back in my mouth um, This is one that my family and I really love and it's extra. It's the cinnamon flavor So it tastes like big red, but it's sugar-free um, we are not like super, super strict on our, you know, sugar, um, source. Um, I, you know, have one piece of gum a day. Um, now I will say that there are gums out there that are, you know, sweetened with like xylitol and other things like that. So just explore, um, whichever direction you feel like you want to go on that. Um, along the same lines, I don't have any with me today, but I have also found sugar-free candy to be very, very helpful. My daughter wants a piece of this gum right now. I have had found that sugar-free candy, hard candy like Jolly Ranchers, is was very helpful for, helpful for me at school. Just the action of having that candy in your mouth for a little while helped kind of create the saliva that I needed to be able to talk. I'm a teacher, and so I talk a lot throughout the day. And I find that my mouth starts to like stick together and then my words start to stumble all over each other. Um, something else that I have done is lemon with salt water. And I have found that that's very refreshing and also helps to kind of create, um, you know, the moisture in my mouth that, that I need. Um, it's easy, easily accessible and, you know, everybody has salt. Lemons are pretty easy and cheap to come by. Um, something else that really has kind of changed the game for me and that keto dry mouth is <clears throat> adding electrolytes to my water. And of course these need to be keto approved electrolytes. There are some electrolyte powders that have a lot of sugar in them. So you need to make sure that you're very careful about that before you go and start pour purchasing and pouring those packets into your water. The one that I have started out with is from Element. It has a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 mil, oh, a thousand milligrams. I don't know what I said. Uh, of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. It comes in so many really super cool flavors. Um, I was able to get a code through Keto Focus, and if I can find the video where she had that special, then I'll link that below for you. Um, she had a special where if you, like a code, if you bought um, a packet of Element, uh, then you could get a sample pack for free and the sample pack was worth $20 and I have really enjoyed the sample pack so far. I have tried chili, chili lime, raspberry, um, citrus lime. That one was really good. I bought the orange, like a pack of the orange and I love this one. This one's really, really good. Um, another really cool flavors that I have yet to try are lemon habanero. And the chili, the one with chili powder was really spicy, so I'm really excited about this. And this one is very interesting. I'm very nervous, yet very intrigued about the chocolate salt. To see how that goes. Um, in that sample pack, it also had just a raw unflavored. So I'm really looking forward to putting this in 
water that I have that's already flavored. So I just need the simplicity of that. And I think that that's all that I have that I have not tried. But I really do like this. I just fill up this purple container right here really um, full of water and some ice. And I can stick one of these in there and um, also probably replenish it a little bit more, kind of top it off with some water. And I find that it really does help my dry mouth. And I have heard that it also if you have um, electrolytes and you're replenishing, replenishing your electrolytes, it helps deter that keto flu. So if you're someone that's just now starting keto and you're really feeling really sluggish and not feeling very well, you might want to pick up some electrolytes. I hope that you found some of these tips very helpful and I wish you good luck on your keto journey. I'll see you next time. Bye.